This race is named for Carol Shelby, whose car modifying and building factory is right outside turn number one here. Uh, last year, we got to sit down and talk with old Shell, and this year, he uh, invited me to go for a ride in his uh, newest creation. You can take care of <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You have got to drive this car. What do you think? It's awesome. I haven't seen you since Derek Derek Jackson. I know. It's just it was his last one. We'll be back in a minute. There is a speed limit on the road. Yeah, I think we just broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Sunoco race fuel, we're going again. <laughs> oh, Carol, what a treat. Thank you again. What a great treat. Always good to be with you. Carol turned 87 last month, and he's still dreaming up new things, building new cars. They revived the most famous performance icon name of the 60s, the GT 350. You order a brand-new 2011 Mustang GT from your Ford dealer. They send it to Shelby, who massage it, put a whole lot of Ford racing parts underneath, and you, uh, you end up with this white with blue striped, or vice versa, 500-horsepower missile. Slick piece. It goes. It makes a lot of noise, too. Yeah. Given pace car rides this morning, Brett Bodine was. That thing sounded like a race car going around. 